grab your yarn and get comfortable because knitting is about to move well beyond a hobby and become a way of life. Whether you've been inspired by Tom Daly poolside or you just really like knitting, we're going to give a detailed look at the skill in The Sims 4 which is made available through the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack. Firstly, getting started. For this, all you need to do is buy the beginner's yarn basket or the super stash yarn basket before popping it into your Sims inventory. Once it's in your Sims inventory, then when you click on a seat that has an empty space in front of it, a bed, or alternatively the object in your inventory, then you'll gain the option to start knitting. I know, iconic. You'll be able to knit very various objects and items of clothing, and yes, you can wear the clothes that you knit. Once you knit an object of clothing, it will appear in your inventory, upon which you can click on it and choose to add it to your wardrobe. Then you'll be able to select it to wear while you're planning your Sims outfits. Note that clothes added to your wardrobe are unlocked for all household members. And keep in mind that when you go to knit new clothes, the column on the right will also let you know what clothes are already in your Sims wardrobe. Now at level 1 knitting, you'll be able to knit a range of bear and tiger beanies. And at level 2, you'll be able to knit a huge range of socks. Almost too many. When you reach level 3, you'll be able to make a wide variety of hanging plant holders. And yes, plant included. You'll also gain the ability to make mailbox cozies, which function the same way as regular mailboxes, but they are so much cuter. Definitely an upgrade, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. At level 4 knitting, you can make a range of rugs, and much more excitingly, at level 5, you can create sweaters. And I will say that these look so awesome, especially the women's and children's styles. But even the men's are nice too. There is something that you should know about knitted sweaters, being that if you gift them to another sim that you're romantically involved with, then it has the chance to spark the sweater curse. Yes, you can rightfully be scared of that gorgeous knitted garment. The sweater curse will see both sims who are romantically involved receive a plus two scared moodlet that lasts for seven days. Yes, seven whole days. While the moodlet is active, romantic interactions between your sims will often fail. Although they do have a chance to be successful if your sim is experiencing other positive moodlets. However, if you're not careful while your sims have this moodlet, then you could find them hating each other very quickly due to the failed romantic interactions and likely breaking up soon after that. While you can wait out the moodlet, if you complete the Lord or Lady of the Knits aspiration, then you'll gain the Sacred Knitting Knowledge trait, which grants the ability to reverse the sweater curse from both yourself and other sims. It's at level 5 that the Teach to Knit interaction also becomes available. And as long as you have some yarn in your inventory, then this interaction should appear within the friendly section of other sims. This can be very cute, and it will see the sim you're helping train up their knitting skill much, much faster. For context, instead of taking two and a half hours of knitting to get from level one to two, it took about 30 game minutes with this interaction. At level six, you'll be able to make poofs, which are adorable knitted seats. Then at level seven, you can make a range of must-have decorations, including octopus, turtles, penguins, and cacti. And yes, I do stand by calling a knitted cactus a must-have. At level eight, you can create adorable baby and toddler onesies, which while awesome, your sims will grow out of them quite fast, making them questionably worth the effort. Then at level nine, you'll gain the ability to create sweater scarf combos. And while the women's versions are nice, here, I feel that it's the men's wear that shines. Again, beware of the sweater curse. Finally, at level 10, you can create child toys, including cute bears, as well as mini knitted Grim Reapers called Lil Grim, which I am not going to lie, I am low-key obsessed with. Both toddlers and children can play with these, with toddlers able to use them to train up their imagination skill, and children to train their creativity and social skills. 
Also at level 10, the game tells you that you can mentor other sims in knitting. But if I'm honest, I feel that this is pretty much the same as teaching sims to knit that's unlocked at level 5. Now, if you thought that was everything you can make with colourful yarn, then you're wrong. Nifty Knitting also brings with it the Lord of the Knits aspiration, and completing this gives your sim the sacred knitting knowledge reward trait, which has some powerful perks. Firstly, you'll now be able to make yarny toys and yarny sculptures, which you might be familiar with if you've ever played Unravel. The yarny toy is adorable and it can be played with the same way that Bears and Lil Grim can. Meanwhile, when placed on display, the yarny sculpture will actually teleport around your house every few hours, making it a display piece that's a great mix of interesting, cute and low-key chaotic. Now, once completing this aspiration, you'll also be able to knit the Forbidden Sweater. Yes, you can make an interesting fashion statement or choice by wearing this, but doing so will also give your sim an uncomfortable moodlet for as long as they have it on. Of course, you can also gift it to other sims, and for once you might not have to worry about the sweater curse, thanks to the Aspiration Reward trait granting you the ability to remove the curse. Finally, the Aspiration Reward trait also allows you to use the Bestow Sacred Knitting Knowledge interaction on other sims, which sees them level up their knitting skill insanely fast. And when I say insanely fast, I really mean it. My target sim went from level 1 to level 5 knitting in under 2 game hours with this interaction. Now for a few quickfire knitting tips. Firstly, being inspired is the ideal mood for training this skill, and knitting while inspired will save you around 25% of the normal training time, while when being very inspired, this will increase to around 35% of the time saved. Also, consider making your sim like knitting, as this will give them a happy moodlet while they knit. If your sim gets halfway through a knitted object and stops, then they can resume it through the Resume Knitting Project interaction. If you leave a yarn basket out and your sim has a cat, then cats can interact with and play with these objects, even knocking yarn balls out of them. It's also worth noting that sims can knit while watching TV. Objects you knit can be sold, however they won't be worth all that much, especially considering they cost a few simoleons to make. Alternatively to selling them directly, you can list them on Plopsy for 5 simoleons, which is kind of like the Sims version of Etsy. Once listed, the object's background will turn pink, signalling that it's up for sale. Once someone buys it, the object's background will change to blue, and you can then click on it and ship it on Plopsy via your mailbox, netting you some money and an inspired moodlet. If you have the High School Years expansion pack, then you'll even get a bit of experience in the Entrepreneur skill too. Donating your knitted goods is another option, and it can provide an inspired moodlet. And of course, you can gift things you knit to other sims as well, granting positive moodlets if it goes well, and negative moodlets if it goes poorly. Now, of course, you can also sell your knitted objects in a retail store, but it does become a tad complicated when it comes to clothes. If your sim knits and adds an item of clothing to their wardrobe, then they'll be able to dress a mannequin with it and sell that outfit. And yes, you can then go ahead and restock it without knitting it again. Once you sell this to a sim, then it will be added as one of their wearable outfits, but you'll have to be careful as it won't unlock that item of clothing for them. So if you change that clothing preset or delete it, then you won't be able to just choose it again, rather you'd need to go and buy the outfit again. Yes, it's a little messy. Finally, we need to take a quick look at how cottage living ties in with the skill. Firstly, sims can knit animal clothing, and as your skill level increases, more outfits to create and dress your cute farm animals in will become unlocked. Also, if you're raising llamas, then they will produce wool. And this can be of various colours depending on what treat they've recently eaten. Shearing your llama will give you llama wool which can be used to knit, effectively lowering the cost of creating knitted things. If you have llama wool and you don't want to use it knitting, then just be sure to toggle the Use Fresh Ingredients checkbox off when knitting. And with that, we're at the end. That's a complete guide to knitting in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like, 
I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.